hi everyone welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm going to be making this kimono dress with a bishop collar and a pocket this is actually a request video from a subscriber i hope you enjoy the video This is the fabric I'll be using for this dress. It is two yards and I'm also using a crepe fabric for the pocket and the collar. So the first thing to do is to mark out uh, the length of our paper and the width of it. And after that, you're going to mark your neck width. Here I'm using 2.5 because I'm using a bishop collar. And then the length of the sleeve is 16 inches. And then from that point, I'm going to go down by one inch and connect it to the neck width. After connecting from the shoulder line, I'm going to mark eight inches, which is the width of the sleeve that I want. And then on the other side, I'm going to mark eight inches plus one, that is nine inches. And then I connect the line. Then from this point, I'm going to go in by one inch. And then I connect it to the shoulder line. And then also I'm going to mark out my hip line, which is 23 inches. After marking my hip line, I'm going to mark out my neck width, which is 2.5 for front and 1 inch for the back. And then from this point, I'm going to mark the armhole. I'm going to go in by 2 inches and then I'm going to go down by 1.5 inches. And then I'll use my French curve to curve the armhole of the stress. And then on the hip line, I'm going to mark cut out my hip measurements. And then also add 2 inches to 4 inches depending on how wide you want it. If you are a plus size or you have a lot of hips, you can go ahead and add about 4 inches. But I prefer to use just 2 inches because I'm kind of skinny and I don't really like oversized clothes. So I decided to use 2 inches. But well, here on this pattern, I used for a plus size person, which is, I added 4 inches to it. But while I was caught on my fabric, I used 2 inches because I was sewing it for myself and I didn't want it to be oversized. And then from the hip line down on the dress length, I'm going to minus 1 inch from whatever we have on the hip line. So I'm using 10.5 for myself. For a plus size person, if you are using 4 inches extra, you're going to minus 1 inch or 1.5, depending on your size. From here, we're going to cut it out and that will be all for this pattern. It's actually very easy to make. And then from here, we're going to mark out and we're going to measure our neck and for the back and measure for the front we are going to be using it when we are drafting the collar pattern then from here we're going to cut out the front neckline but before you do that make sure you use this back neckline to cut on the fabric before you cut it out and then after cutting it out you are going to go in by 0.5 inch we just want to create that v neckline that is in front and then we are going to connect it all the way to 6 inches below it. You can use 5 inches or on the chest line. After doing this, you are going to place it on the fabric and you cut. For the front, you are not cutting on fold. But for the back, you are cutting on fold. And then on the fabric, we are going to mark out where I want the pockets to be. I am using 17 inches. You can go down by 16 or 18 depending on how low you want the pockets to be and then from here we're going to mark five inch away from the center front that will be where also where i want the pockets to start from so 17 from the up and then 
five inches from the downside and then the length of the pocket is 6.5 inches so i'm going to mark it here you can use seven inches if you want and then also on this i want this pocket to be slant so i'm going to mark five inches up and then on the downside it will be seven inches so that it will be slanted and then i'm connecting it as i am doing now so from that from one from the upside to the center front is five inches while from the downside to the center front is seven inches and then this is the pocket that i'm using it's actually 12 by 8 inches and i'm cutting two pockets i've also used interfacing on it and then i've also gone ahead to mark this out on the pocket fabric i'm using 6.5 inch pocket size like i did on the fabric i'm doing it also for the pockets and then i'm using how wide it's going to be is just one inches you can use 1.5 or less than one inch just depends on how thick or how, or how wide you want it to be and also i'm tracing back the what i did in front i'm tracing it at the back because i want to use it as a guide when i am drafting out the pockets you're going to understand better when i start sewing it so now what i traced out i'm going to place it on the the line that i marked on the fabric and then i'm going to pin it down i'm placing it exactly the 6.5 inches i'm placing it exactly and then i'm sewing round the rectangle so i'm going to open this up and then after opening it up i'm going to mark it on the side just to enable it to open properly when we are turning it over to the other side and then you know you can use a razor to help you if you are not sure of the scissors i like to use razor just to be sure of what i'm doing remember we are marking on the front side of the fabric we are not marking on the wrong side we are marking on the main side and after this you're going to put your hand through it as i did and you're going to bring it out as i'm doing now press it down when you press it down it's going to look like this then now you are going to try to cover the hole that we created we are not going to overlap this we're just going to place it exactly on where the or where the hole starts from so when you over when you place it don't overlap please when you place it and cover the hole you're going to pin it down and so on half an inch sewing allowance the that the, the parts that we notch we are going to be sewing very close to it then take note that we are not sewing on the main fabric we are only sewing on the pocket so we are joining the pockets together we are not sewing on the main fabric And then now I'm, I want to line this pocket, so I'm using the main fabric for it. And I measured the length and width of the pocket, and then I cut the exact measurement on the on the main fabric, and I used it to sew on the pocket. Now what I want to do is to, to cover the front pattern with this black crepe fabric, and what I'm going to do is to cut it with the measurements that is shown. And then I'm going to sew half an inch, turning the right side, the, the wrong side together, flip it to the right side and you hem it in front. After doing this for both the both sides of the front pattern, them together, we are going to sew them together. Then when you sew them together on the crepe fabric, this is what it should look like. And after that, you're going to join the front pattern to the back you're going to sew on the side seam and on the shoulder line by that time you must have hemmed the sleeve of this dress and then also you also hem the downside of the dress as well And then for the collar, we are going to mark out what we measured earlier. Mine is 3 inches and 3.5 for the neck 
measurement we're going to mark it out and level front and back and then from on the front line we are going to go up by 0 0.5 inch and connect it to the back Also, we are going to mark 1.25 inch upward. That is how wide I want this color to be. So I'm going to mark it on all sides and I'm connecting it. Then after connecting, just measure to make sure that you have exactly what your, your measurements in front and on the back as well. And then from here, you're going to just try and curve it all the way to the up you're going to try and cover it the way i just did and you cut it out and that will be for the color when you open it up it should be like this and then you're going to place it on the fabric using half an inch sewing allowance 0 0.5 inch sewing allowance you're going to cut and now you're going to face the right side together so on the wrong side turn it to the right side notch and top stitch and it should look something like and it should be something like this then you're going to place the back side of the collar to the back side of the dress and you're going to pin it down and so And also place the front side to the front side, pin it down and sew. After sewing all around using 0.5 inch, it's going to be like this. Remember to leave about 0.5 inch to 1 inch on the front that you're going to use to join the lining of the collar to the front side. So how to join it, you're going to fold it to the wrong side and sew half an inch. And then you turn it to the right side, then turn the lining of the collar inward by 0 0.5 inch when you turn it inward remember you're not going to sew all the way down so that you'll be able to turn it inward so when you're turning it inward you're going to pin it down and then turn all the way to the other side When you're, when you're done pinning, all you have to do now is to sew on it. You can sew on the wrong side and then turn it to the right side and sew. And then you remove any stitch that you don't want. That will be all for today's video. If you did enjoy the video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in my next one. Also, leave a comment in case you have any question in the comment section. Bye.